Hi, my name's Tim McPherson and this is another underwater adventure. Uh, this time we went on a, a turbot fishing trip on Misty Blue from Eastbourne, uh, John Hip from there, the skipper. Uh, Jim Whippy was on board as well and uh, we were going to go and catch some turbot. And I put the uh, water wolf camera on my rig and uh, we had a pretty good day actually in the end but um, let's just see what kind of footage we got. There's a nice turbot for, for, for Jim. So here we are, the uh, bait is uh, winging its way to the bottom and uh, it's the bottom and you can see it's very broken shingle, shells, all sorts of things. Uh, there's a bit of camera wobble because it was a very strong tide. Here we are, we're going through, moving quite fast actually, very strong tide, uh, which I'm told is what turbot like. We'll start seeing some action shortly. Yeah, there you go, the lead coming up and it just hits the bottom. Quite often we felt we weren't actually on the bottom. And you can see there's a brill. You can see it there, fantastic shot of a brill. Didn't catch that one. And here you can see going up uh, a short bank and it, it, it felt very much like this whole area was a huge um, area of banks. Now this is us coming through the, the water, the rig coming through the water. And there you can see mackerel. Uh, we had this a lot during it. Back down again and here, if you watch carefully, you'll suddenly see a garfish in the bottom right hand corner of the, of the video. And then suddenly out of absolutely nowhere, bang. And he ha hits the, um, the swivel. Look, there you go. Great shot there. There's a gurnard attacking the bait, which is wrapped round the trace, rather unfortunately. There's the gurnard. He has a right old go at it. Look, here we go. Oh, takes it in. Um, I, I guess because it was um, attached in such a way, it all tangled up, I couldn't really hook him properly. I didn't really have a strike on it. Anyway, he let go. But then he came back again. He, he wasn't going to give up. There it is, hitting the water again. Hitting the bottom, rather. He's still swimming around. Anyway, here's another one coming up through the water column. And again, you'll see fish chasing the bait. And I think the one at the front, I thought it was a bass, that one there. But I think actually when you see it turn, it looks more like a weaver, which is extraordinary. We caught a lot of weavers, big ones, greater weavers, during this trip. There he is again. Look. He keeps, keeps going. There he is when he turns. Now back down the bottom. And what comes out of the top, top left? A turbo. There he is, look, oh, oh, there he is. Lovely. And again, uh, having landed a bait right on top of him, I think he was attracted by it, but he didn't take the bait. Here's another gurnard, a uh, little one that time. As we come along the bottom, there's a, there's a cuttlefish. Again, we had quite a few hits from cuttlefish. False bite. Just dragging along. There's another cuttlefish. Lovely colouring they have. Matches that seabed. Here we go, back down and bang, right on top of something. Don't know what that is, might be a weaver. Did seem to be a lot of fish around and we were catching at one point during the time. Here we are coming back through the water column and you'll suddenly see, in a minute, you'll see a lot of mackerel. Look, there you go, lots of them, big shoal of them. Uh, we were catching mackerel on the way up. So there you go. Uh, not quite as spectacular as the last one, but we do have some more underwater footage to show you for uh, from place fishing.